Come and take up your hands on the best name of Jesus. Please stand everywhere. Please stand everywhere. The best name of Jesus. Come and take up your hands on the Come on, brothers, stand up. Bless God, come to take up the nice offering. Is our Richard Father in primary, Chief Apostle, Doctor to the Pastor to the Church, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Pastor Come, come, come,
Lord. Praise Him. Because right now, you need protection. Not because of you. But I call you home, East Vietnam and South. Come on, Lord, those people. Fire on it. Get up, mothers. Get up, mothers. Shabu ya ne me ya man. We can get to pop every day. We can't sell some. Hallelujah. We tell something, man of God is coming. We can't make nobody get out of here. But no, we say, no, the benefit we're not getting. Let me tell you something. If we're going to lose, we're going to get a little prophecy. The man of God said today, that God said it for so many years. God did turn away from the ordinance of God. And God kept silent. And we don't want God to lock up his mouth. We want God to speak. Yay, Abusha. And I'm telling you about it. Hallelujah. The work that you are doing is not benefiting you. You are a pilgrimage. Lift your hands up. You are a pilgrimage. Hey, I hope it's not overseas for you right now. We see it in you. And this time, when you come back, you're going somewhere else, and the Lord can open doors for you. I can't receive it in Jesus. Right now, I lose document, I lose paper in the name of Jesus. I release you right now in Jesus. No, you know what the Spirit of the Lord said? Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But the anointing is glory. Hallelujah. Could you know you're praying? Oh, go and pick the, go and pick the night. But I stop. The work of the enemy you will not spend because of it. You call to serve God. You call to serve God. I am covering you. And because I cover you, your grandfather shall be covered in the name of Jesus. Praise him tonight. Put him on a subjection in the Holy Ghost. Come on, Holy Ghost people. Missionary stand up. I put him on a subjection in the Holy Ghost. Sister. Give up your hand and praise God. Give up your hand and praise God. God, God is coming. Lift up your hand and open the mouth. Open the mouth and praise Him. Open the mouth and praise Him. Open the mouth and praise Him. Listen to me not tell you. I'm going to talk. There is a woman is going to the woman man for you. And he's paying some money. But the Holy Ghost, come on, rich men, church, and everybody. Come on now. Sometimes when, when, when the enemy is talking too much, the Lord will rise up with thunders. At the line of your life with God, God will line up your protection. Come on, Jesus. Come on. We pay the blood of Jesus right now. We heal the sight right now in the name of Jesus. We heal the sight right now in the name of Jesus. The enemy said, Don't just so much rock note. Let me just talk with the enemy. The Holy Ghost is speaking, Lord. In the name of Jesus, right now, we pray right now for divine power of the Holy Ghost. And we stop the plan of the enemy. We stop the plan of the enemy. We stop anointed hand. There is a level of faith in you right now. Touch that side right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to 
the one on one time. 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 And you take your care of the house. And you fire from the house. And everything put up. Put it up. I cover your house right now. Come on, Jesus. I cover your house right now. In the name of Jesus. I cover your relationship right now. In the name of Jesus. I bind and I destroy the work of the enemy.
you know one another. Just any new time this is in the house, each and every one of you are welcome. You won't be able to say nothing until Wednesday night we begin to be calling exalters. Wednesday night we would have been exalted, but for, for now until Tuesday night, we just worship on the word. Amen? Hallelujah. We have 10 minutes to put the man of God on the floor. We put the man of God at 10 o'clock. He's going to have two hours to deliver the word unless he feel like to stop. So everyone will sit here until 12 o'clock. Amen? Unless he feel to, to stop. Anything he feel like to do, you can humble yourself, you can wait. God, anything to fix, God will fix it. God will wake up, give you strength in the morning. Amen? Come on, Archer, come on, we have 10 minutes to get this offering fully out of the way. Put your arm together for yourself, we're here. Hallelujah. Who got a sin? Okay, Elder, come, Elder. Come. If you still have the 500,000, put it in the man of that hand. If you have an orange and an orange, you put it in, in your orange place. I got a blessing just to say, I'm, I'm blessing the offering to you. I'm blessing the offering. Stand up away, Come on, show hallelujah. We're still in a season of praise and worship, right, Virgin? Come on, show hallelujah. Show hallelujah. So we just have a rise up. We before last week, Sunday. Come on, worship the Lord. Yeah. 
the Lord good. Let's try it again. Your response will be all the time. It's not the Lord good. Amen. When God is good, He's good all the time. I don't care what you're going through. I promise you, even if it's a bad day, God is still good. He's still good. On your worst moment, God is still good. Come on, give me praise one more time. Before you take your seat, I want you to celebrate the angel of this church. Gentlemen, I'm coming to love day by day and enjoy his presence. Enjoy the Jesus inside of him. I enjoy to be around him. He's fun. He's hilarious on one side. He's serious on the other side. He's as human as they come. Would you put your hands together for your leader party? your body be in good health. Yes. You have no challenges whatsoever. Energy and strength will come on a minute by minute basis. Everything that you need, it will come to pass. Every door that needs to be open, it will be open. Your people will multiply the church. In Jesus' name. Let the church say in Jesus' name. Amen. Now clap your hands in front of somebody and say, This is for you. Don't quit your life. Do not get judged. And your leader is blessed. You automatically are blessed by the Lord. Did you catch that? When your leader is blessed, you are automatically blessed as a result that you sit under a blessing ship. Lift your Bibles high into the air. Lift your Bibles high into the air. Let me fulfill my, my assignment for the evening. Metropolitan said to be here for two hours. I don't know about that. Thank you. I will do what I need to do. Amen. I want you to lift your Bible high to the air. Repeat after me. This is my Bible. Come on. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I am a believer. Not a doubter. I walk by faith. In Jesus' name, in Jesus let the people say amen. amen. I want you to open your Bibles with me. I want to touch three scriptures before you sit. Before you sit. You will sit for a second. Open your Bibles with me. I always remind people when I go to church, the book of Ezra will teach you the people stood up from morning to noonday to hear the word of God. Because in the synagogues, there were no pews and no cheers. They would stand to hear God's word. Amen? Amen? I want you to open your Bibles with me. I want you to go to three texts. One of them is a little longer than the other. I don't know if they got it up. It's Hebrews 11 and 6. Hebrews 11 and 6. Then I want to lift up Proverbs 23 and 7. Then I want to lift up Numbers 22 to 33. Here is the word of the Lord in front of you. Hebrews 11 and 6 first. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that God is. And that God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Proverbs 23 and verse 7. Hear what the word of the Lord says. For as he think, I'm only going to read the, the first clause, clause A, as an apple. 
Proverbs 23 and 7 says, For as he thinketh in his heart, so he is. Another version says, For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, As you think about yourself, come on, look at somebody, tell them, As you think about yourself, so you are. If you see yourself great, tell them, If you see yourself great, you are great. You are if you see yourself as a fool, then you're a fool. Now I want you to go to the book of Numbers. Go to the book of Numbers. Here is a text that's a little lengthier than the norm. 22 to 33. Here is what it says in 22. And they ascended by the south and came unto Hebron, where Ahiman, Shishai, and Talmai, the children of Anak were. Now Hebron was built seven years before Zoan in Egypt. They came unto the brook of Eshkal and cut down from thence a branch with one cluster of grapes. And they bear it between two upon a staff. And they brought of the pomegranates and of the figs. The place was called the brook of Eshkal because of the cluster of grapes which the children of Israel cut down and thence. 25, and they returned from searching of the land after 40 days. How long were they in the land? 40 days. Come on, how long were they in the land? 40 days. 40 days. Verse 26, and they went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran to Kadesh and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him and said, We came unto the land whither thou sentest us and surely it is flowing with milk and honey and this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, verse 28, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are way away, and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south. The Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains. The Canaanites, they dwell at the sea and by the coast of the Jordan. Verse 20, and Cabal, Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. Yeah. Verse 31, but the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up the evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is the land that eaten up the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw in the land are men of a great stature. The last verse for the evening, 33. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anna, which come of the giants, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. So far, the scripture, Father, bless your word, because it's a couple of lives we get in our spirit, open our hearts to be receptive, our ears to hear, and our mind to comprehend, and a zealousness to live your word. In Jesus' name, let the people say, Amen. Let the people say, Amen. Take your seats, please, and look at somebody quickly. Say these words to them. Bring down the giants. Bring down the giants. And take back the land. And take back the land. Look at somebody else and say, Bring down the giants. And possess your dreams. May I suggest to you tonight, as my assignment is to preach the word of God, I enjoy my assignment because I enjoy every opportunity I get to deliver God's word that delivers the people of God. Because we were not called 
to be on strongholds or bound by the enemy. We were called to be free. We were called to dance free, live free, clap free, celebrate free. He that the Lord has set free is free in me. May I remind you, or rather may I challenge you, that Christian folks, we have a memory problem. Look at your neighbor and say you have a memory problem. Come on, look at somebody and say we have a memory problem. Let me tell you why Christians, who I am a Christian, and get on my last nerve. Christians get on my last nerve because once again we are too weak. We have memory problems. We forget the power of our God. We go through something and we're ready to quit. The heat turns up too high and we want to jump out from being caught. jump ship. Anytime something goes wrong, we blame God. If you really love me, why am I going through? The truth of the matter is, going through makes you stronger. The truth of the matter is, dealing with challenges makes you realize how powerful you really are. Judge. You have never been sick. You'll never know how much of a healer God is. You will continuously keep living on somebody else's testimony. When you are an example, a living example about what God can do, your memory must be intact. You must remember if he brought you out of it before. He can bring you out of it again. You can allow the enemy to steal, rob, and destroy your memory. Because your memory is designed to be powerful. The United Negro Fund made a statement and said, A mind is a terrible thing to waste. May I remind you what the Bible said, he will keep you in perfect peace. He whose mind is stay on him. If your mind is on him, you can do anything. Stay with me here tonight. I'm going to free up some folks because you are called to go to the next level. Tell your neighbor, I'm called to go to the next level. Tell your neighbor, I'm better than average. that's just normal around here. I am beyond average. The enemy is average. My God is supernatural. My God is great. My God is beyond the norm. My God is beyond the commonality of the season. So church, your mind is strong. It's powerful. When the text says he'll keep you in perfect peace who is he whose mind is stay on God. The other text says I can do all Ear 
relationship to the throne, you have inheritance coming in your direction. When you have inheritance coming in your direction and your name is written, nobody can take a blessing away from you. But God has already written your name for something that's coming in your direction. That's why I don't have to jealous you for anything. There's yours and there's mine. And there's yours and there's mine. And God owes everything with more than enough supernatural to take care of it. Someone 
does not match my nose.
so I can see the victory at the end. Now here's the truth. Moses told the people Everything that the devil stole. We 
Stop. 
is are in the land. Watch me, church. You go ahead of me. This is why leaders are important. And if you don't leave the wrong leader in the wrong in the right place, because when a leader does not have the faith like the leader, you damage the group that you're leading.
Stop! 
against. When you speak against the metropolitan, he's the same one that will have to pray the leprosy off your life. When you talk about the man of God, you're setting yourself up for death. I don't care what it looks like. You keep your focus on God because God is a man that will not lie. If you come up against him, then you will find out the wrath of God is not to be messed with. Now, whose report you won't believe? You won't believe the report of ten, or you will believe the report of two. Forty years went by, but then Caleb comes back in Joshua 14 and 11, and Joshua and Caleb says, being 85 years young, uh, he still says, strong like an ox, give me this mountain. You held me back long enough. I have been stopped because you didn't believe. I have been stopped because I had the wrong friends around me. I have been stopped because I keep listening to the people who have no desire for their own lives. I have been stopped because you operate with an average mentality. I am not average. And you and I cannot hang out together any longer because you are average in your mentality. I see myself in the future and things look a whole lot better. You got to know that. 
the demon God, but you have to know the demon. Expose the demon. Identify the demon. What is your name? My name is Legion. Why is your name Legion? There are a whole lot of us in here. Gotcha. What's your name? Beelzebub. Now I know who you are. Once you know who the demon is, you then can pull down the stronghold. If you just want to pull it down strongholds and you don't have a focus as to where you're going, you can pull down a whole lot of stuff and don't realize that you're making this thing worse for yourself and can't get victory. Well, you got Ahiman sit up there. Ahiman means the spirit of block or hinder. You got Shishai there. It means the whitewash mirage. The one that makes you think you see something that you don't really see. But when you think you see it, you're going to touch it and realize it's not true and it's not real. So he plays with your mind. When you see a mirage in the desert, in the mirage in the desert, plays with your mind. It makes you think you're coming out because you see something and you're walking toward it only to get to it and realize it's not real. That's what giants do. They play with your mind. That's what the spirit of the enemy does. It plays with your mind. Talmai is another one. Talmai means accumulate. It makes you get into the spirit of materialism. You get all caught up with material things. You want to buy this, you want to buy that. You want to buy this, you want to buy that. You want to buy this, you want to buy that. And all you are focusing is buying material things that you forget the promises of God because you're caught up with the earthly things. But the earthly things are going to dissolve. That's why when folks get cute, I want you to see them as they profile in their BMW. You can profile, but God can snatch that BMW out your hand. Because anything you have on earth will disappear after a while. Everything is going to go. But what Talmai does is come on church. Talmai becomes, let them accumulate. When you accumulate things, again I repeat, you forget who God is. Because you then think it's all about you. That's why the text says it will be easier for a rich man to go through the eye of a needle than to go into the kingdom of God. Because when you're rich, you think it's all about you. You think you can buy your way out of everything. You think you can control people and control things. And most rich folks don't want God. Because they said, if I accomplish this without God, what do I need God for? Which is why God tells us, stop getting caught up in material things. Because I
since I know who he is, at the end of the day, I can bring down the giant. Now that I know your name is Goliath, I can bring down the giant. Now that I know who I belong to, who I am, and whose I am, I can bring down the giant. Saul did not know who he was and whose he was. So he took some garments and he put it on David and he told him, go out there and fight the giant. And David is walking around with the weights of the giant because what David was wearing is what the giants were wearing. If you wear what the giants wear, you'll never be able to fight against the giants. David said,
We saw ourselves as grasshoppers. And the giants saw us the same way. Number one, why are you seeing yourself as a grasshopper? Do you not know that you are wonderfully and fearfully made? But I don't feel pretty. I don't care if you don't feel pretty. You are pretty. As long as you tell yourself you're pretty, you're pretty. As long as you look in the mirror, the only one that's going to answer back you in the mirror is you. The mirror will not do anything you do not do. It will always respond and reflect to what you do. Every time you look in the mirror, it will only reflect what you do. Tell your neighbor, I don't want to look like you. I'm not interested in looking like you. Tell him I like me. Come on, look at somebody quick. I got a call. Tell somebody, I, look, I, like me. I like me. Tell your neighbor, come on, look at somebody. Tell them, I like me. I'm not interested in looking like you. I like me. Well, you're my hair is coolie, and I wish I had coolie here and stuff here. No, 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 no. I wish I had better hair. Which means if your hair is not cool, it's bad hair. What kind of foolishness is that? Who said that having coarse thick hair was bad hair? You said that! God didn't say that! That's why when he gave you, that means you're telling God your creation is not good. You ever seen Chris Rock's video on here? here without a perm. It's like how people speak when they say, oh, she's beautiful, but she's black. Did you hear what you just said? But she's black, but being the conjunction now turns the beautiful completely around. Who said light-skinned people were prettier than dark-skinned people? What foolishness is that? I'm saying.
to see you tomorrow night. I want to close with a different message. I need to take you to the next one. But tonight, I come to break up the falling ground of the enemy. To free up your mind. Hands in your head and say, free up my mind, Lord. Come on, put your hands and free up my mind. We're going to have graduations around here. I said we're going to have graduations around here. We're going to have promotions on jobs around here. They don't see what's qualified, but I decree and I declare tonight you will become qualified by the hand of God. They stepped over you, and they haven't noticed you. They will notice you now. Because you are not a grasshopper. You are a child of God. Come up here quickly. Come up here quickly. With a touch and anoint your hand. I want to believe God for you tonight before we leave. The convention has been opened. Go and tell somebody who wasn't here. They need to be in church tomorrow night. What sense is it for us to rejoice for the next three weeks? It's three weeks? What sense is it to rejoice for the next two weeks and, and keep the same mindset you had when you first got here? Tell your neighbor, your mind has to change. Come on, look at somebody and say, your mind has to change. And I'm going to cancel something that I know is in some of your heads. It's in your vocabulary. Words are powerful. You do know that. Words are powerful. So you might be challenged with finances, some of you, or many of you. And I'm going to tell you something. I want you to do this and hear my, hear my voice tonight. Stop saying I'm broke. I'm tired of pastoring broke people. You're not broke. But I don't have any money. That doesn't mean you're broke. Broke is a mentality. It's a state of being. Your father owns everything. Your father in heaven owns the cattle on the hills. He promises to provide for you. Try these words if you put your memory on. I am currently financially challenged. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm currently financially challenged. I don't have all the money I need. Come on, repeat after me. I don't have all the money I need to do what I want. But I do have what I need to handle my needs, not my wants. He said, I would provide all of your needs. challenge you between now and the ending of this year no frivolous spending I'm about to anoint your head and your mind I want you to repeat after me no frivolous spending most of your frivolous spending is done based on your wants not on your needs If you have 50 something pairs of shoes, you don't need another shoe for the rest of this year. How much shoes can you one person wear? That's where your money is going. So you're trying to buy, I don't have any money because you're putting it in stuff, material things that are disappearing. And then you say, I don't have no money. Because you're spending without good thinking. Somebody got upset with Kanye West. Half of the Christian community get on my last nerve with these folks going against this young man. If he is, if he's born again, that's what we prayed for. We prayed for somebody to be like Kanye West to get born again. And not only we pray.
pray for he will reach a community that we might never reach. Kanye West said something on the Jimmy Kimmel show. You know I'm into entertainment and my business, so y'all don't like that. Don't throw me out the church. I'll be all right. But his money turned and he said to them, I'm a billionaire, he said. But we are, our people of color are financially illiterate. He said, I never knew what it was to have a CFO when I first got money because I didn't know what a CFO was. But when he became a billionaire, he realized his whole mindset changed. And he said his desire now is to help the people of color get the mindset of billionaire status. Just because you don't have billions or millions doesn't mean you cannot have a mindset of a millionaire. And millionaires don't spend like people who are financially challenged. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave that alone right there. We don't spend like everybody else spends. We make money on you spending. Because the more you want, the more you run to the store. The more you run to the store, the more they make the money. And you want it, you don't need it. And then you're saying, I don't have any money. Come on church, it might sound funny, but it's serious. Metropolitan Primate, I'm putting your house on a challenge. Amen. And I've been doing this since September. I am on a financial fast. Amen. But what does that mean? It means I'm not spending any money frivolously yes. since September the 15th. I have not spent any money frivolously. Whatever I've spent, it was needed. Toiletries is a need. Please buy your toiletries. I can't deal with bad smells. I'm not going now. God knows I love to shop. I will shop till you drop and spend your money and mine if I could. But I've done none of that since September 15th. <laughs> Putting money is on the side. The only thing I've been doing, tied with belongs to God and sowing seeds. Sowing seeds. Preparing for the harvest. 2020. I'm done with 2019. I'm finished with 2019. 2019 is over. You do realize that. It's over. It's finished. The businessman closed out 2019 up in, in the ending of September uh, into October. We're done with that. We close out the books. You start to close it down. Nothing major. Everything's already budgeted for. Why? Because it's ready for next year. Rosh Hashanah ended when? In September. Ending of September. The Jewish calendar. The business, they closed down. They're in 2020 already, and we're still in 2019. No more. I'm getting ready for the harvest that's coming. That's why I'm on the financial facts. I'm now governing myself, because if you don't govern yourself from now, when all the grapes, the milk, and the honey are in your hand to become a millionaire, you will not be able to handle your money. You will be broke as fast as you were rich. Because you did not create a financial discipline. Bring me the oil. Because here's the last thing you're going to stop doing. And I'm talking to everybody in here. Stop lending people money. Oh, Jesus. Knowing you are not going to get it back. My God. Stop it. No, stop it. Stop it. You're not a bank. Amen. The bank will lend them and you lending them. You're foolish. As a man think in his heart, so he is. My God. You're wise, act wise, be wise, function wise. Banks don't give you money unless they can qualify how to get their money back. It's not that they don't want to give it to you. They don't mind giving it to you. They just need to be able to see how they will get the money back from you. And if your track record shows that you have no financial discipline, do y'all use credit scores here in Jamaica? Yes. Then at the same time they were looking and saying, we don't mind, but it looks like you don't know how to handle money. So 
So since you don't know how to handle money, we're not going to give our money to you. So them banks don't like me. The banks have no problem with it. They don't even know you. It's you that don't like yourself. Because you keep running yourself into the same situation. The same people keep borrowing from you. Well, it's my mother. It's my sister. At what point do you put these people on the check? People can only do to you what you let them do. Some of your family members are dragging you down. They going down and bringing you with them. And you up there sliding down the road with them. You gotta put a halt on it. I had a relative of mine. I'm not gonna call it his social media goes around. I can defend myself anyway, but I'll be nice to them. I had a relative of mine ask me, would you co-sign for a car? Now this is gonna be funny, because I did say this. I said, what kind of weed you smoking? <laughs> Y'all act like you don't know what weed is, marijuana. Because I know you smoke marijuana. So I said, hey, you got a bad dose of marijuana. Somebody sold you a bad bag that you could ask me to co-sign for a car for you. Are you with me? Yeah. And it's a relative. I love that relative to life, but not enough to co-sign. <laughs> no, not me. Because when you don't pay, that means they're coming after me. And that means I add another bill to my uh, devil. It's a lie. Look at somebody and say, oh no. Oh, no. I forgot the scripture. There's a scripture that tells us not to co-sign. I'm going to try to find that before I leave here and bring it to you. It's in the book of Proverbs. It said, a wise man does not put his signature or fix his signature to anything that does not connect to him. I want your mind to go to the next level. Let's make this convention be one of the greatest conventions that we're not just Yay. We're not just jumping and dancing and dancing, but we're releasing our minds for richness, moving in our minds for businessness, for taking ourselves to the next level. Because you are great. And God has designed some stuff for you. And I'm going to see it bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Bring me some blessed music. Come, elder pastor, get your microphone. Bring me some blessed music. Let me anoint these hands. And then we're going to release you so that the virtual pounds will come back and then you have no excuse to be in place tomorrow night. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands and as they get ready, give me some dance music that bless God. That celebrates God. Because when you know the blessing is coming, you ought to dance. Like you already have. Did you hear what I just said? Dance like you already have. Act like you already have. Come on. In the name of Jesus. I speak a new mind. I speak a, mind. I speak a released mind. In the name of Jesus. I speak college tuitions. Graduations. Powerful education. After I know she can step back. Come on, come to work. Come to work. Step back after I know she Bring down the giants. Bring down the giants. Bring down the giants. Come on. Bring down the giants. I touch you with my right hand.
Mm-hmm.